Hi guys, Fiesty here, Venice Peace Tech. Welcome back on my channel. We have a new version of the Vichaya mod, and Vichaya mod actually became very famous because some weeks ago, Vichaya with a version 2.5 introduced for the first time in Google Camera without root for the OnePlus 7 series and more specifically the use of auxiliary cameras, which means that we pretty much installed his port, which is actually a modded version of the Unix, and then boom, we have the telephoto, right? We have also the ultra wide camera, and you can use them all without root, which was not possible before the VGI mode. So now VGI is back with a new version of his mod. Now the version is 2.7, and guys, the change log is very big. So let's first read it through. I have downloaded it, I will install it over my version 2.5, and I'm gonna see how this works should you remove the previous one. So if you want to see how this goes, stay tuned and watch the full video. All right, so starting with the change log here, something very new and I think a great addition, added separate out white balance for the front camera, which was really a welcome addition, added more auto white balance profiles, thanks to Savitar and Burial, changed the AWB, the AWB button, thanks to Overwhelmer and button behavior by press, the icon will bring to AW menu instead of changing AW profile. We're gonna have to see how this works in real life. Before that, you know, when you're just pressing the button, you know, the profile was changing, but you're not seeing to what now, at least the menu will be shown and should, should be able to choose. Added a separate exposure compensation for night side in portrait mode, added manual set camera, ID experimenter, added manual set button aux name, override base frame index minus one and one experimental, fixed default camera ID using the wide lens, okay, that's for the Zenfone 6, added manual set camera array and support for Zenfone 7 and 7 Pro, and that's not tested, so if anybody watching my videos, guys, you own the Asus Zenfone 7 or 7 Pro, let us know in the comments down below if it works. All right, so I have right now the 2.5 version installed and I have the 2.7 here, so I'll try to directly update it. So let's see if this will work. Okay, yes, update. So now installing it, okay. So that's good news, guys. You should not be clearing cache and etc. I think that the Vichaya mode is here, so I'm just starting it. I'm just going to directly go to settings. I'm gonna go here to info and we can confirm that this is the latest version from Unix camera, but the Vichaya mode edited by Vichaya 2.7 from the 31st of August. And actually all the things I already read you in the chain log are already here. So let's see how this works, guys. Safe location, I always set it to on. No camera sounds, framing heat, yes. Safe self is previewed also. I remove also the social share. So now let's go here to advanced. Shoulder lens warning, HDR control, RayPack, RAW or JPEG if you want. Store videos efficiently, I go for that one. Here we have the HDR frame set to the max. Okay, disable zoom in portrait. Here we have the auxiliary camera. Okay, we have here the issue exposure time and some experimental things. And now let's see guys what happens here. So the first one is stream config, so don't change this. The best thing here is to use XMLs. And by the way, there is a new XML for the OnePlus 7 Pro for the VCR 2.7 mode. You can find it in the video description. Okay, so let's see here what happens. All right, just wanna see where the buttons are. So if we go a little bit down here, the viewfinder buttons, now we have enable the new button layer, okay. Then show the patcher button, okay, why not? Show the AW button, okay. And show expose the compensation button. So if we go now to the main viewfinder, guys, we should be able to see all of that one. All right, so let me try to open and close the camera. Now I have restarted the camera guys and apparently the buttons are here. So when you press here the button for the AWB, you are presented with the settings. So apparently now you can change here the profiles. That's not really bad. Front camera and back camera. And as you can see here, you know, there is really a lot of profiles. So I will stay right now with the IMX586, okay? So that's one a new thing here. Here I think that's the button for the exposure compensation. Now on and off. Okay, and here this is the old button for, I think, the focus tracking, yeah. And if you choose, by the way, the old style, so let's just go again, guys, and we're just gonna go here and to the button settings, viewfinder buttons, and we are going to disable the new layout, okay, and then restart the camera. So let me run it again. Then you're gonna see all the buttons are here, and I pretty much prefer that option where I have the button for the outward balance here, I have the button also for the focus tracking here, and the button for the exposure compensation. All right, so I'm just gonna do a quick check if all the cameras do work, so shooting the main one, okay. Let's see, 
well very nice and consistent you can also see that one I'm just gonna do a one with the ultra white okay yeah okay also working fine and then one final with the two to two again a lot of people are asking me why two to two and in the oneplus uh, 7 pro two to two it's really you know the amount of optical zoom after that it's just hybrid zoom guys so all right it is working again maybe not the best result but still it's there so we have the telecamera we have the ultra wide and the normal one and guys those are all the latest things into the latest which i am also if you want it i will put in the link down below here just download that one xml if you want of course to set up the best settings for your phone use that one and i hope you like the video if that's the case then you know what to do you can subscribe to my channel and hit the like button guys we're gonna see each other soon again vst over and bye